video in this video I'm going to be looking at how you can uh, disable theming for for some uh, properties uh, for example if you don't want themes to be so for example you've set theme I've uh, taken the liberty to reverse the um, start from the style sheet theme back to the theme equals to default because uh, if I use the style sheet theme from the, for the next uh, uh, things that I want to demonstrate it might not work so uh, let's go back to the diff design page and if I s you can select a control um, for example if I should add another control here a label and um, a text box so now we have text box property 8 let's see what it looks like now well we know what it's going to look like it's going to be yellow because um, it will be automatically um, themed so the way to disable the theming for say for example if you don't want f uh, this particular control to be themed there's a property of the control um, all controls all ESP.NET controls have these properties which enable you to set the theme to either true or false it's true by default so let's change it to false if it's change it to false let's change couple more to false label the text box 3 let's ch change that to false as well so if we run application now we'll see that um, the third the third one and the last text box they will be n they will not be themed so yes yeah, so as you can see you can remove theming you can also set theming or you can use the property window to override your theme so which means uh, you have a lot of power in your control on how you make your website look like but um, the disadvantage of everything that we're doing right now is because if I should go let's say for example I leave this page I go to default to if I go to the second page which looks like this it's from a custom validation and remember when we're doing the validation controls if I run this default to the SPX what do you think is going to happen nothing because uh, we have set the uh, theming to inside the page directive so because this page directive doesn't have any theme so it's not going to uh, automatically uh, inherit that property so how do we make sure that happens so well you know that we have a file that we can consult we always use our web.config file to set anything that we want to be widely available to um, to all our pages so inside the system system dot web you had um, you had another property inside the system which is the pages so if I add the pages pages then I say theme equals to uh, what's the name of the theme that we want that we use default isn't it that's the name so just close this uh, particular So that means um, on under the system the web don't forget just uh, add this page the pages then the theme will be the default so that means all our pages now will remember I haven't saved it that's how we have this asterisk here so let's save the uh, web.config file let's go back to the default to which we were so if we should view this page now uh, let's see why do we have error section mouse only up here once per config file see the app topic okay um, the reason why we get that error now just like I said to you you must be able to read your error files it says section must be able it must uh, appear once so um, maybe this pages is already been added under the system the web so let's look for it oh, yes you see uh, we have this section has already been added and I was trying to add another one at the top here so that's why it says section can only be added once so let's delete this particular one that I've added and go back to where the pages are and I just say and I just add my theme inside here Th 
theme equals to default you must be able to read your error so if you don't read your errors let's save that and uh, go back to default to now let's hope that there's no error so you see uh, the website is building itself now there's no errors um, we should be good to go right as you can see initially we didn't get this yellow uh, theme so now it means that every controls that we want to that we're going to be dropping on our page every time you drop this text box on your page you get this theme and you can override it if you want to by using a name skin or or by setting the style sheet theme so um, that's the way to do it but um, I'm sure that some of you some of the clever ones already thinking what if I don't want to enable theming on a particular page if I don't want a particular page to have theming so um, there is a solution for that as well so if you go if let's go back to let's say for example you don't want this particular page to have theming and every you want every other page to have theming let's look at one other page page three um, what does this page look like it's loading the master page let's let's drag uh, let's put text box in here if you look at what it, let's see what it looks like it must definitely uh, have the theming applied to it which is going to be the yellow color of the text box come on yes you see it's yellow in color um, it matches our website so but what we can do here is we can actually go to the source and inside the page directive we can say enable you can say enable theming equals to you can set it to false so that means uh, this page will not the theme will not be enabled here so as you can see now we're back to normal so uh, the best way to do it will be to add the theme by default to your uh, web.config file so that all your website can inherit from that skin file that you've added remember we have our skin file inside the default theme so we can modify a lot of stuff you want you can modify your label you can modify any control any ASP not ASP.NET controls you can modify them here so you can just state what you want it to be added I'm sure that some of you are asking question why can't we use this uh, cascading style sheet yes that's an alternative the alternative which is even the better option is to use a style sheet but uh, if you don't know a style sheet you can use this one instead because uh, style sheet is better because style sheet is a very is a lighter version because um, every time you call a text box all this uh, additional information will be added to the controls before they rendered which makes your uh, application to be slower and also it makes it to be uh, uh, bloated yeah bloated because um, more information will be added to each of the control uh, rather than if you use a style sheet so style sheet is a better option so in this video you've learned how to um, enable theming the, your default theming inside uh, the uh, web.config file you've also learned how to disable theming on a particular page and you've also learned how to um, disable theme for a particular control so go ahead go and design a very beautiful um, page and um, I'll come back and give you more um, stuff Ex especially I'll be teaching how to load themes dynamically so that if your user wants uh, to change from one particular color or to the next one so they'll be able to do that so watch out for the next video thank you